Yay! Hi, welcome to Hope and Worship. Welcome to Hope and Worship. We are full of hope tonight, and we're full of worship. <laughs> Wait, let me fix your audio. There we go. Oh, yay! Is that um, better? Yay. Yeah, not maybe not so ringy. Now it doesn't sound um, like she should be announcing for a big, like, monster truck show. Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, I like Sunday. that idea, too. Yeah, could, yeah. could happen. Yeah. yeah, it could happen. Maybe. No. Tonight we have a couple of things that are very exciting for you. Number one, just a reminder that our our uh, house, our home, our membership, our membership is open. open. Our cart is open, <laughs> and we would love for you to join us and become a member of Hope and Worship. What does that mean? I that know, means. Sally, why don't you tell me? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Oh, that kind of made me sad because I was thinking of Alex Trebek, R.I.P. Alex Trebek. Um, anyway, yes, we are open. And what that means is you can go to hopeandworship.com slash registration dash here. And there should be a link in the comments if there's not in the uh, <laughs> description. Producer, not Emma. producer Emma will be putting it there soon. Yes, in the, in the comments. Um, a link to that and make sure there's https yeah or you can go to hope and worship and click on join the membership now there you join go. the membership today what you get with the membership very briefly is a lot of music that's exclusive not something that you could go on to spotify or apple music and get right now um, you will eventually very quickly get youtube access to youtube playlists that are just specifically made and written original music written by us that is for particular things like uh, christian meditation or sleep um, or focus when you're trying to do your bible study or maybe you're trying to do real studies oh bible study is real studies by the way yeah um, and other things that you may use music for. You also get full access to our curriculum, which is a five-stage program that leads you on a journey from uh, hopeless to hopeful. We kind of joke that some days we are hopeless. <laughs> we joke about it because we don't, nobody wants to be hopeless. But we do have days. I was just talking to some ladies today that some days we're just down and it's horrible. What do we do? This curriculum actually gives you tools to, and, and I have to be honest with you guys, I have used these tools recently because things are getting hairy out there. Just the whole world, this everything that's going on with COVID and with just you know, election, election uh, race relations, um, as we try to navigate, those are like the, those are big things, but there are also little things come into our lives. And uh, so this curriculum actually gives you some tools. It equips you to be able to, you know, dig in to a deeper relationship with the Lord. Because honestly, there's nothing that Don or I could tell you tonight that, or Penny crying at the door, there's nothing that we could tell you that's a surefire thing. It's kind of irritating. Can I just say that out loud? Except the words, but God. So in the Bible, stuff happens. There's stuff. And then it said, you know, oh, we're going through this. We're going through that. But God, God came in and he saved the people that love him. And he saved people that don't love him, didn't he? And uh, so we just, I, I'm very excited and filled with a lot of hope tonight when I just invite you into this because my spirit has been really revved putting this together and Don's has just having to live with me being all hyper and everything. And it's not just coffee, it is the Lord. It's very exciting. Penny, Penny wants likes to it. join the live. Yes, again. Penny wants to join the live. Um, Emma, do you think we should let Penny in? <laughs> if you want to. I think so. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, that was number one. Very exciting. Follow the link. Um, number two, right now, this month in November, 
We are studying and delving into the concept of prayer. And I just wanted to say a quick story before we start playing. We do have some lovely music for you tonight. But um, I wanted to tell you a quick story. When I was in college, when I first started college, um, actually my whole, most of my whole college years until I got married, I lived at home. And uh, I went to my home church that I grew up in. And our Sunday school teacher, was a beautiful woman, just wonderful woman named Bessie. And we she, love Bessie. we love, oh, we love, love her. Bessie. We just, we are so thankful. She is with the Lord celebrating and uh, just praising him right now. She was such a beautiful teacher of the word of God. And she taught me this thing that has, this concept that has stuck with me so tried and true in my own personal life, and that's this concept of breath prayers. And what that means is, is first of all, recognizing that you are, or I am, we are always, when we are always in a constant state of prayer, that's, I believe it's First Thessalonians, and you can correct me and look it up, but uh, pray without ceasing. Actually, that could be Timothy. I don't know. Anyway, look it up. That would be a really good thing. That would be a really good thing. Pray without ceasing. You know, I, I have this vision of when Paul wrote that, that the Pharisees were like sitting there and doing that mumbling that Jesus talks about in Matthew 6 during the, during the uh, Sermon on the Mount, where he says, don't be like those people that are just mumbling and saying that wrote prayers and wrote prayers. This isn't at all what we're talking about. We're talking about this relationship with God where you come upon something, you see something in front of you, like say you're driving and there's wild traffic in front of you, and it's immediately recognizing that the Lord is the one who is sovereign and in charge. And it's like just saying a quick, oh Lord, you know, keep us safe, or oh Lord, what, what should I do now? Or there was this radio show, Mary Welchel, who did Fran and Jesus. Fran and she Jesus. would have these awesome conversations. Like when she drove to work, it would be Fran would say, Jesus, you know, I'm having this really rough time with this coworker. What should I do? And and Jesus would answer her and, and say these things. You know what? Jesus really does do this. Jesus answers us when we pause make room for listening to him. And that's what those breath prayers are about in your car. God, should I go to Old Navy? <laughs> I walked into Hobby Lobby on Saturday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, and should not. I literally heard the Holy Spirit say, Sally, turn your body right around and get out of this place. Body, I was like, body, yeah. Yeah. yeah, body is what I said. Yeah. I, it, I was like, <laughs> okay, I was like, what are you talking about? Um, I thought, no, this is just, you know, the, there was a crowd there and I, I, we haven't been in crowds in eight months. And so it really overwhelmed me. And I actually like crowds. I like, I love people. Um, but there just was something, and I'm sure it was the Holy Spirit protecting our checking account. But, um, <laughs> not you from COVID. Yeah. But, but I, I did have, I had this conversation on the way home with God, just this, this breath prayer where I was just, thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, I'm just, I'm so thankful for you for, and then I was like, but God, I didn't do, <laughs> I didn't do my coping mechanism of shopping. This is why I'm going through this program <laughs> <laughs> because we want God to be our coping mechanism. Don't we? He's the one in control. So, so one way that I've uh, <clears throat> heard breath prayer and the concept of it defined is uh, it's a constant conversation with God. So God wants to be with us. He, he, I mean, that's why he sent his son to die for us, to redeem yeah. us so that he could, he could be with us for an eternity. He loves his creation. He loves his children. And um, the, the really the concept of breath prayer that that really turned the light bulb on for me was just the whole concept of you're in a constant it's like when Sally and I go somewhere we, we talk when we get in the car together we talk yeah. we talk a lot sometimes on long trips we'll talk ourselves out we might have you yeah. know a, a while of silence where we're reflecting on what's been said but part of that conversation is when I say something to Sally if I keep talking and keep talking and keep talking then we're not having a conversation 
right? He's really talking about me talking to him. No, he's still <laughs> anyway, I'm teasing. Yeah, it's a you know that's that's what conversation is. It's yeah. it's call and response. It's it's ask and listen and, and listen and ask yeah. and ask and listen. It's it's conversational. The whole concept of conversational is there are two parties having the dialogue, and so. Uh, that's part of what the concept of breath prayer when I really got that idea of it's having a conversation a, a perpetual conversation with God throughout the day so it's constantly just lifting up praise and adoration and thankfulness to him mm -hmm. and petitioning him for for what's going on right there in your day-to-day -day life asking for his wisdom you know petitions for wisdom for divine appointments to meet people that need to he hear his voice and see his love through you minister to them be they strangers somebody that just happens to be behind the cash register or standing next to you in the aisle at old yeah. at old navy or um, <laughs> Or, hobby or hobby. if it's maybe a friend that God puts on your heart while you're driving around and you think, you know what, I haven't talked to that person in six months. I just need to give them a call. And you pull out the phone the next time you come to a stop because it said you were in your car, so you want to be stopped. <laughs> you don't want to be talking on the phone unless you have total hands free. But anyway, give that person a yeah, call and you just say, hey, good. how are you doing? And you don't even have to call and say, God put you on my heart because sometimes that weirds people out. Just call and say, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Now, if you have a relationship with them and you know they have a relationship with God, then you... Yeah. It really, it's ministered to me. I've had people call me out of the blue and say, hey, God really put you on my heart. I'm like, wow, God cares enough about me to put me on your heart so you call me and encourage me. That's awesome. It's awesome, yeah. yeah. It's really And that's neat. part of what Pastor Mark used to always say that I loved, which is God has arms in this world and they're hanging off of your shoulders. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I always love that concept. So, yeah. Anyway. That's I'm, awesome. I'm deviating from breath yeah. prayers. But... but it's an awesome deviation because that's really our whole point, isn't it? That we're called to be the light right now and to love others. And how do we do that? You know, how do we maintain that? Well, when we have a relationship that is in constant communication with the one who created us, in our very breath comes our adoration, praise, and thanksgiving. And oh, I just love it. I think it's wonderful. So let me encourage you, just kind of research that, think on that, meditate on that. Just kind of sit and ask the Lord what he thinks about breath prayers for you. A lot of times when we talk about things in here, um, we there may be a different way that you approach that topic. And I would love to hear about that. Donnie would love to hear about that. So, you know, you can private message us on Facebook or you can email us, sally at hopeandworship.com, don at hopeandworship.com, or you could even post a comment underneath this video. We'd love to know that you watched it. Um, you can even just say wave hi. Um, and as we play our music, I want you to think about breath prayers and, and maybe even practice it a little bit. Just whatever you, you know, because we are just, we want to be in his presence all the time. He is the one who, oh, he does everything for us. He is our everything, isn't he? So, um, yeah. Are you ready? Are you switching the mics too? Okay, cool. <laughs> There's some technical. We like that. Yeah, it's good. you right. Just play it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is from us to you. Mm -hmm. Are we in four? Yes. <laughs>
So I, I heard a word from the Lord. <laughs> so good. So good. You know what? The Lord wants to meet with you. And um, we want to invite you to hope and worship on this journey. It's awesome. It is so awesome. And if you have any questions or answers or comments or anything, leave a comment in there in the, uh, this live or, uh, you know, private messages, like I said. Email us, whatever you would like. We would love to connect with you. Yeah, we love we you. Would. Yeah, we thank you so much for being here with us. We'll see y'all Thursday. See you Thursday at 8. <laughs>